Yeah. What up, y'all? I want you to watch this. I wanted to talk about something here. And this is something I... But I have a friend named Bucky Jones who is on the run from the police. And the reason I found this out is through my now ex-friend, Ashley Armstrong, who, by the way, thinks that her knowing the info that she knows is not harboring a fugitive. And she's sitting there saying, I'm a snitch. No, I'm not a snitch. I'm trying to do the right thing and bring down a fucking criminal that needs stopped. How is that being a snitch? This guy has been on the run for eight years. Eight fucking years this guy has been on the run. And Ashley, you knowing what you know about Bucky, it don't matter whether you were there or not. You don't have to be there to be harboring a fugitive. You are withholding info. You are aiding and abetting a fugitive that's on the run, knowing what you know. And you don't need to get involved with that. So you can think I'm a snitch all you want. You can fucking hate my guts. I don't give a fuck. But you doing what you're doing is a crime. Ask any officer. They will tell you the exact same thing. You don't need to get involved with that. You need to turn his ass in. You might not know exactly where he's at, but he leaked out info knowing that, you know, somebody would say something. And you could think that people treat me like shit because I'm a snitch. You got it all fucking twisted, bitch. It ain't because of that. It's because of my physical appearance and how I fucking am. It's not because of that. It's because of other shit. So don't fucking sit there and say that it's because of that because it ain't. You got a fucking twisted, sister. Which, by the way, if you were any kind of family, you wouldn't be harboring this guy. You would be saying, hey, look, you need to do what's right and turn yourself in. But no, you want to sit there and call me a snitch? Really? I ain't a snitch. I'm just somebody who's trying to do the right thing. And doing the right thing is turning this guy in. Which you can run all you like to because guess what? I have both your Facebook and his and both y'all's pictures. So don't sit there and think that you can get away with this. Because what you do harboring and aiding and abetting. Knowing where this guy is, you are aiding and abetting a fugitive. And that's not okay. If you were any kind of family, you wouldn't be sitting here doing this. You would be turning him in. You can say I'm a snitch all you want. You can run your mouth about me all you like. I don't give a fuck. But you know what? I'm not a snitch. I'm not. When you say I'm a snitch, that makes it sound like the Juggalos are a gang. And they're not a gang. They're a family of underground people who enjoy the same kind of music. It's people like you that give the Juggalos a bad name. Because you treat it like a gang. It's not a gang. They're a group of underground music-loving people who enjoy bands like ICP, Twisted, ABK, Blaze, Tech 9 Hobson. But you are no juggalo. You are a fake. You're treating it like a gang, and it's not like that. It is not a gang. Because you know what? A real family member for the Juggalos and turn that person in. That's what they would have done. I'm sorry, but I don't aid and abet criminals. That's not me. I do the right thing. Yeah, 
he might have a lawyer, but that don't mean shit. He's been on the run for eight years. And they will catch him eventually. Eventually, they will find him. And when they do, he will go to jail. And if they find out that you knew any kind of info, they'd take you to jail too. And like I told you, you don't need that shit. You don't need to be going to jail. You're aiding and abetting a criminal. And that's not okay. At all. Like I said, you can hate me all you want. You can talk shit all you want. But the point is, you are aiding and abetting a criminal. A dude on... Hey, Henry, what's up, buddy? Um, it's a guy named Bucky Jones. He's on my friends list. And the girl that told me this, her name is Angel Armstrong. I can send you both links if you want them, man. All you gotta do is private message me and I'll send you the links. But she had just spoken with him a little while ago and told me about what was going on. And I'm sorry if I might seem like I'm a dick. Well, and I'm sorry I might seem like I'm a snitch, but you know what? Being a snitch is better than having a criminal on my friends list that's wanted in several different states. Like I said, he might have a lawyer, but that don't mean shit. What it boils down to is that he was on the run. He's running from the cops. He's running from the police. You might not be able to trust me again. That's fine. That's whatever, dude. That's on you. But you know what? At least I'm honest and straight up. And yes, I consider myself a well. I've been with the underground family for as long as I can remember. And yes, I feel, I'll admit, I feel like the Juggalos don't need to be on the gang list. Because there are people within the Juggalos that, you know, they commit crimes because they're not right in the head. And then they use the Juggalos and the music as a cop-out. Which is bullshit. That's why we're all getting a bad name is because of people like that. And because of people like you. You sit there and you treat it like a gang. It makes people treat it like a gang. because you sit there and say, oh, I'm not a snitch. I don't do this. I don't do that. No. Like, I can understand if, like, you know, like if you're smoking weed or whatever. I'm not going to say anything about that. But when you're on the run from the police for eight years, then, yeah, I'm going to speak up and say something. Because it's the right thing to do. But apparently you don't know what it's like to be an honest person. To go to the place to be like, hey, yes, I know this person. They spoke to them. And, you know, like you don't know how to be an honest person. You'd rather aid and embed a criminal. It, you don't have to be there physically to aid and embed. You could be holding information which I'm pretty sure you know. Do you not realize that that's aiding and abetting a criminal? That's information that the police could use to bring him in to help him get back on the right track after he gets out. That's information they can use to find him and bring him in. That way he can get the help he fucking needs. But no, you'd rather aid and abet a fucking thing federal criminal. And what you don't realize, actually, is I'm a lot smarter than you think. I'm two steps ahead of you. I have both your guys' pictures, 
and both your guys' Facebooks. All I have to do is hand them over to the right people, and they can hand them over to the authorities. And all I have to do is be like, hey, this person associated with this person, and they're going to come straight to you, knocking at your door, asking you questions. And if you don't tell them the truth and they find out that you did talk to him, and you're not telling people what they, telling the police what they need to know, then guess what? You're just as much a criminal as he is. You're aiding and abetting a fugitive, a wanted felon. So like I said, you can call me a fake ass juggalo all you want, but in reality, you're the fake one, Ashley. You're treating it like a gang. I'm a snitch. Yeah, I listen to the music. Yes, I stick up for them. Because like you, I do agree that they should not be on the FBI list. I agree with that. Tell me I'm a snitch. And that, you know... I don't need to be doing this, that's when it becomes, and it boils down to you treating the family like a gang. And that's not okay with me, and that sure ain't okay with anybody else. So don't think that you can get away with it. Because let me tell you something, to the family, Melissa Sullivan, she never would have stood for this. And she was one of the originals. She was one of the first ones. And even she would have done the same thing I'm doing now. She would have done the exact same thing. See, y'all new school. Y'all got it fucking twisted. Like I said, I'm down with the clown. I listen to ICP, I listen to Twisted, I listen to Blaze and all them. You know, and I'll admit, the underground is treating me better than most people ever have. But the one thing that confuses me is how the fuck can you sit there and say that people treat me like shit because I'm a snitch? Those two don't, it doesn't add up. That makes no motherfucking sense. It really doesn't. People treat me like shit because of my physical appearance. That has nothing to do with me being a snitch. It's because of my physical appearance. That's why they fuck with me. Because they feel like I'm the short guy. They feel like because I'm the short guy with the weird appearance, they can fuck with me. Well, guess what? I guarantee you the minute I go into that group, I will have a talk with the admins. I will have, the, have a talk with the administrators. And I will tell them what you and Bucky are doing. Because what you're doing, Ashley, is harboring a fugitive. And that's not okay. And like I said, you can spread lies and bullshit about me all you want, but the truth is, the minute I get unmuted from the True Juggalo family group, I will have a talk with them and sit down with them and be like, look, I know these two people group. One of them is a criminal, and the other one is withholding information. That is a crime. So you can call me a fake all you want, but you know what? Reality is, you're the fake because you're treating it like a game by doing that. A true lower let would turn the person in, not out of hate, not out of being a snitch, but out of trying to help them. And that's what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to help him. But you're getting in the way of that. So like I said, you can call me a snitch, you can spell. But the truth of the matter is, you are aiding and abetting a fugitive, Ashley. 
and that's not okay. But like I said, as soon as I get back in the group, I will have a talk with the admins and I will have you removed because we don't need criminals in our family. We don't need people that aid and embed criminals in our family. And that's how it is. Sorry to tell you, sister, but that's the reality of it. You need to wake the fuck up. Like I said, I might seem like a snitch to you, but ask any other motherfucker. And they'll tell you the same thing. And what you're doing is a crime. That I have spoken to agrees. What you're doing is wrong. Because like I said, I'm not trying to turn a man out of hate. I don't hate anybody. I really don't. And like, I'm not doing it to be a snitch. I'm not doing it to be a fake or a fraud. I'm doing it because I care enough to turn that person in to get them the help that they need to get them back on the right track. I don't turn people in to start trouble. I turn people in like that. I let people know what's going on with people like that to help that person. Because I care enough to give them a kick in the ass and be like, look, this is what you're going to have to deal with. You need to do this. You need to get back on the right track. Even if it means going to jail for a little while. So, no, I'm not a fake. Like I say, you can call me a fake all you want. I don't give two fucks. You can spread all the lies you want about me. But guess what? I guarantee you, 99 to 95% of the others will agree that what you're doing is wrong. And we don't need your kind in the family. We don't need it. Like I said, you can say I'm a snitch all you want. But the truth is, you're a fake. You're a fake because you say I'm a snitch. And that leads to you treating it like a gang. And that's exactly what you're doing is treating it like a gang. You might not think you are, but guess what? Reality check for your sister. You are treating it like a gang by saying that. The minute you spoke those words is the minute. The minute you called me a snitch is the minute you started treating it like a gang. And we're not a gang. So you need to get your fucking facts straight first. You might be older than me, but guess what, bitch? I got more brains than you. So guys, um, if you do want the link to these people's profiles, let me know. And I will send them to you personally by private message. In the True Jungle Family Group on Facebook that I am part of. I wanted to let you know that I will be back within three days because I got busted for some shit. I got muted for seven days because I got involved with some stupid stuff and, you know, I opened because of it. But I will be back in a few days to, you know, set things right with that. And like I said, as soon as I get back on muted, I will be speaking with the administrators of that group and telling people the issue, like I'm not going to make it public. I'm going to, you know, personally private message an admin and letting them know what's going on. Because like I said, I'm not a snitch. I'm only trying to do the right thing. And the right thing is turning both of these guys in. 
that's the right thing to do. And not because I hate people, not because I'm trying to get anybody in trouble, but because it's the right thing to do. Because I don't want to see anybody get in trouble because they're connected to that person. You know, being true fam, you know, that means doing what's right, even if it hurts. Even if it hurts and you hate doing it, sometimes doing the one thing you don't want to do is the right thing to do. But to sit there and say that you talk to this person knowing they're a fugitive and you know a little bit of info that could help them. After he sat there and told you that he was on the run for eight years. Do you not realize that that is a federal crime? Like, seriously? Like, you must not realize that you're aiding and abetting a fugitive at all. Like, you must not realize that. But as for me being a snitch and a fake, you got it wrong. I'm not a fake and I'm not a snitch. I'm an undergrounder who's trying to do the right thing just like you. And even though it kills me, Turning him in is the right thing to do. Even though I hate doing it. I hate doing it. But it's the right thing to do. Not because I'm mad at him. Not because I hate what he did. But because it's the right thing to do. Because I want him to get the help he needs. And so, if you guys do want the links to these guys' profile, let me know and I will private message you them myself. Um, and like I said, as for those of you that are in the in the True Doug Oil family group, let me know. And I will speak with you guys privately about what went down and why I got muted for seven days. But um, with that being said, guys, much love, and I'm out of you guys. And Henry, I will be messaging you, so don't worry, man. Peace.